Okay, so we thought we made some really cool changes with the time logs and the one-time payments on how you can see them. If you can only see um, certain um, certain time logs and one-time payments, if you're a manager, you can see everything if you're a company manager. It's the same concept of reports. As a owner or company manager, I can see everybody with all the reports. But what we really are excited about the reporting is, notice here, it's kind of a new look and feel. So we've enhanced the reports. This shows you the current week that um, that time is being entered. So as your property, uh, as your virtual team members add time on a daily basis, you will see it increase here. It tells you how many hours if you give them a bonus and it gives you the amount that you are going to pay. Now, if you are looking at this report prior to Wednesday, because Wednesday morning is when everything goes into processing. So this video, I'm literally doing this video on a Thursday. So you can see everything that's processing. All right, but let's go to upcoming due. If you, if I was doing this video on a Monday or Tuesday and I hit this debt back arrow, it would show me all of the virtual team members and all of the time that is still upcoming. Remember, as the company owner or the manager, you have Monday and Tuesday of af after the payroll period ends to dispute. And so you can actually see how much you are, you are going to be processing. Once Wednesday hits, that gets moved from upcoming due into processing. So this upcoming due is equal to these three guys right here, and processing means it's in transit. Notice if you have anything in dispute, the dispute is a little changed now where you see each one line item, the date of the dispute, the time, and if it's a bonus, we showed a dispute of a bonus dispute right here. These will stay here in perpetuity or forever until you either decline uh, or approve a dispute. If you approve it, it goes into upcoming due. Decline, it just removes it from, uh, from the database. Processing now, what, it, it, what this does is each bonus that you send out will have its own billing period, and then the time will have its own billing period. You can click on this, and it'll actually show you how much time, what's the current pay rate, and then the subtotal. Now, what I like here is we let you know that the subtotal may not reflect the hours and the current rate because the current rate is the rate that is current. If I've changed the rate in the last pay period, some of the hours might have been at the old rate and some of the hours might be at the new rate, which means that your subtotal is going to be off. So you want to just double, double check that. And a good rule of thumb is change the pay rate at the beginning of a pay period. And then, of course, once total payments happen, it looks very similar to the processing and has the billing period. What's next is that we're going to have custom reporting. So you'll be able to build all your reporting custom. Um, so you can see, I want to know how much I paid Pete Newbig. I want to know how much I paid in bonus to everybody. You'll be able to do a lot of customized reporting. So we're excited to bring that to you in the next few weeks.